Hallelujah. Please sit down in the presence of God. Uh, we don't have so much time, so we are trying to do everything so that we cannot, we won't take too long. However, before we round up today, I want to, I, I felt like the Lord spoke to me yesterday night that I, will, I should do this this morning, and that's why I'm doing it now. I, need, I want to tell you a, story, a personal experience. In July 2020, I was sleeping in the house there. There was only, only my wife was in the mountain, in this place, and we were sleeping on the same bed. And then I, 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 I was the last person to sleep because normally I would go to pray, 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 pray. And that day I prayed so extensively, I was very tired. So the, what I expected was I would sleep like that till morning. But then I slept, and in less than one hour, I woke up, and my eyes cleared. And I'm like, what's going on? Anyhow, whatever is going on, I'm going to sleep back. So I just remained on the bed, and I was just praying in the Holy Spirit silently so that I can sleep off. And so that I won't disturb uh, my wife sleeping beside me. All of a sudden, I, I, you know, I had not slept. All of a sudden, I heard a voice. It said, come up either. It was a deep, guttural voice. And while I was still wondering, what's that? My spirit came out of me. That, that was the day I knew what it means to die. I saw myself on the bed and I saw myself out of my out of the bed at the same time. And then suddenly I went up. It, it wasn't as though I can control it. I, I can't say I won't go or what am I to do. I just found myself going and I went through the ceiling. And shortly I saw myself in the sky. And then before I knew what was happening. I landed in front of a very huge white gate. Very huge, but very beautiful. And as I was still looking at the beauty of the gate, the gate just opened by itself, bam. And I found myself, you know, I couldn't control anything. I was just seeing myself doing things. And I just went through that gate. So beautiful city, very beautiful place. There are plenty of people walking around, but somehow I didn't see their faces. So not that I can identify that I saw this person or something, but I saw plenty of people walking around. But then I saw somebody walked up to me, and without anybody introducing him to me, I just knew he's the Lord Jesus Christ. And he just came, smiled. And took me by the hand he said welcome and he said some things to me that i don't like talking about and he said i want to show you your mansion and as he said that we just landed in another place you know in that place when he says when he says something it will just happen it's not as though we will walk to the place uh -uh. said uh, let me show you your mansion and then we just landed in another portion and the place was so massive so beautiful all kinds of fantastic houses highly decorated and I, I always like to say this I've traveled I've seen so many cities I can mention names Dubai uh, plenty of cities in the world I haven't seen one place that beautiful. The place is so gorgeous, so lovely. It's the kind of place you want to, you, you, when you get there, you don't want to leave again. And then we landed in front of one house. It was a very big house, but it was not as fine as the other ones. It was like this one. 
plastered plastered like this but not painted not decorated yet as soon as i saw it i was disappointed I said oh this is my own mansion why is my own so dirty like this because when you see this kind of thing it's dirty when you compare with what is there those things are ah they are so the kind of thing that you can be licking them like this so i said why is my own like this and in that forever in that experience i i i couldn't speak i would just think something in my heart and as i think it the lord will answer me so as i was thinking in my heart why is my own like this he said your own is not ready yet because you have not finished your work by the time you finish your work your mansion will be ready and instantly i understood that I said oh yes oh yes oh yes and then he said let me show you where the i mean the works you will do for me before you come and then he said look in that direction and I looked and instantly I see the world and I saw plenty of people in the world he said see they are waiting for you they are in the interiors they are one cobra coro coro I want bully I want to go I want to look at the one do there because for the next five years you will be taking my gospel to the villages, to the interiors, small, small towns. He said, look over there. And I saw another one. Big crowd of people. He said, they are waiting for you. You will meet them in the cities. Because for another 10 to 15 years, you will be taking the gospel to the cities across the world no city will be difficult for you for to enter and he said some other things that i don't want to say and then he said let me show you where i'm going Gogonri. let me show you where the dead without christ go and like that we just landed we just went down sure like that and then we landed in a place instantly as we got there i felt like vomiting it was so it's not you know the other place was so beautiful so this one is worse than our place here you know to why he wait a bit more but this one i'm talking about is far bad the stench that came to me was so bad. The topography was very bad. It was like a mushy kind of place. So smelly, so ugly, so dirty. And there was heat coming from the place. And then I started hearing people scream, shouting. So, ah. so I said, in my heart, it must be a terrible place. So. And the Lord answered me, you don't know how terrible it is. Because I will not allow you to enter the place. He said, but I want you to see the entrance. And he said, look there. Look in that direction. You know, we were down, 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 down. So, he said the entrance, the place was up like this. I saw the place he pointed to me was up. And I saw something falling like water. So, where we stood, I was saying it in my heart. This is a waterfall. This is a waterfall. How can this be entrance to hell? And he said, no, it's not waterfall, oh. Okay, 
let's let's go closer and then like that we landed at the gates and i saw that what i thought was waterfall were human beings running down okay he said that's the way they pour into hell every day ah and then he said he faced me see that you do everything in your power to stop as many as you can stop from coming to this place and then he said let me show you the throne of your father my father who is also your father and we just went up again and as we came out he said look over there and i saw something that looked like sun but bigger than sun and i saw a massive throne the shining there is not you can't compare it with sun but sun is the closest thing we can use he's so glorious so shining like that he said that is your father i was still you know he said it's time to go home at the next moment i found myself on the bed i was like oh no oh no i don't want to come god said i should share it with you this morning because there are some of you seated here you have come to attend Eagles convention but there's no certainty that you make it look at how pleasant it is for us to be here the past three four five days we have been here we have been enjoying our company together but it's not comparable with the glory we will have when we get home how terrible it will be if you are not there I preach around. I do crusades everywhere. I've had converts who are Fulani. I've had converts who are, who are, who are, who are Hausa. I've had converts who are every, almost every tribe you can think of. So on that day when Jesus blows the trumpet, Fulani will be saved. Yoruba will be saved. Hausa will be there. Bobo, I want try to tell you they will be there oh. and then where will you be as a person it will be terrible if you are missing on that day some of you are even children of servants of God some of you are spouses to servants of God some of you are servants of God yourself and you have labored hard for God you have made all kinds of sacrifices. It will be terrible if on the last day you don't step into that glory. I'd like you to bow your heads and let us pray. Some of you have been laboring for God. Will you make it on that day? Nobody knows you. You are the one who knows yourself. You are the one who knows yourself. Will you make it on that day? You, are, you sing, you preach, you do drama, you do things for God. Great, great things that you have done. If you don't make it to heaven, you will not receive it word you will not receive your reward settle with god maybe in your own case you are even born again but you have been fighting fighting bitterness anger resolve with god resolve with God some of us you are pursuing some things in this world I want this one I want this one I am doing this I'm doing that one the day you die like this 
I was lying down. He said, come up here. And every other thing disappeared. Nothing became important again. If he did not return me, that's the way I would have died forever. Plenty have gone like that. Well, if you are here today and you want to give your heart to Jesus Christ, maybe very, for the very first time, or maybe you have done it before, but you want to, you want to start afresh. You know you messed up before, and you are asking Jesus to come into your heart again. I would like to pray with you. Can you just lift up your right hand above your head? while every other person is praying their own prayer just lift up your right hand above your head you want to be born again today or you want to restore your relationship with God lift it above your head I want to pray for you now I want to pray for you now you are coming back to the Lord you are ready to restore completely and you are saying from today lord i belong to you no space for the devil in my life again no space for sin in my life again only you do something for me stop stand up stand on your feet stand on your feet if you are making that determination that decision today you, you know what i'm talking about and you know what you are talking about yourself take a step of boldness come and meet me in front here please come please come please come come and make it right with god just come and as you are standing in front tell him lord jesus I give my heart to you afresh, completely yours, starting from today, completely yours. I've disappointed you, I've done things I've done, I shouldn't have done, but from today, I become yours again, completely yours. No more space for the devil in my life. No more space for sin in my life. From today. There is somebody also. I don't know whether you are in front yet. You are battling with some very terrible uh, 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 lifestyle. There is some lifestyle you are battling with that you know that you don't want to continue. Just tell him as you are there. If you are in front already, if you are not there, come and join. Tell him. Tell him. I hand it over to you and I receive strength to become yours, to stand for you the rest of my life. Give me strength. Give me strength. I was a drunkard. He gave me power to overcome drunkenness. I have never tasted alcohol since then because it set me free in 1981 he will strengthen you also he will energize you also and that evil will not continue in your life thank you ancient of days in jesus name we pray now pray this prayer after me say lord jesus i've come to you again because you are my lord I know you died for me you shed your blood for me so that I can be saved from today I give you my heart I give you my life I want to be Lord 
I want you to be Lord in my life. Let your will be done in my life. You are my Savior. You are the Lord of my life. I will no longer live for sin. I will no longer live for the devil. And if there was any covenant in my life that was contrary, I break his power now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I will pray for you now. My Father, my God, look at this, your children. Some of them, for the very first time, are making a covenant with you. Some of them have made covenants, but they broke them. So today they are making a fresh covenant with you. And I pray for them. The Bible says, anyone who comes to you, you will not in any wise cast away. So I'm asking that your mercy will flow to them. You said you will show mercy upon whom you will show mercy. It doesn't matter what sins they have committed in the past. It doesn't matter what they have done before. I plead by the blood that all their errors be wiped away. Write their names in the book of life. I pray that strength to stand till the end will come upon them. In the name of Jesus. None of you will have any space in hell. In the name of Jesus. I pray the power to stand for God. Let it come upon you in the name of Jesus. A new life. I would say if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Let all things be passed away in your life. In the name of Jesus. From today, let the voice of God be clear to you. Let clarity come upon your life. Let it be easy for you to walk with God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayer. We give you the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. You can go back to your seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus.